Doing yoga is like eating sushi. <laughs> when you eat sushi the first time, you say, I don't know if I like it or if I don't. There's something interesting about it, but I will try again and suddenly it's like, I love sushi. <laughs> so yoga is the same. The first time you do it, it's, ah, there's something that will make you go back. And then you do it again and again, and suddenly you are addicted to that feeling you have when you finish the class. My name is Manuela Vilaseca, and we're in Porto Santo, this beautiful island in Portugal. We are getting together with a team, something I find super important because I don't get to gather with, especially like the Americans, because I race very little in the US. So it's getting to get to know each other, spend time together, chat, go running, take pictures, photos. So it's been an amazing week with them. You finish running, I want that feeling of ending a run. Oh, I feel so good. And yoga has that, I feel so good as well. As it was first something that I just wanted, the physical part of it. I didn't even know there existed anything apart from that. So it's just like going to the gym. The physical benefits I can get from yoga, which are uh, strength, mobility, work my breath, and etc. That was like the tip of the iceberg, the part that everybody sees, the poses, and but then you go, you start going deeper, and you realize that there's something, there's so much more to it and it changes like your way of being. You can't say that you do yoga by twisting yourself and putting your foot on your head and then being rude to someone because that's not the principle of anyone who does yoga. So then I realized there was a lot more to it. And then now the feeling I get with yoga is I still benefit from all the physical things that it will give me. For example, if your ankle is unstable, all the balance poses in yoga are good for you. And actually, like I, because I have so many ankle issues, like I got a lot better with that after doing yoga, for running and stretching, my breathing, everything. But then I think that like, the other part is that it made me more present. Don't do that. <laughs> this is the is a part of Madeira. Shooting. Por isso. I think that now I, I'm, I don't have my head too much on the future. I enjoy now. And I don't know what's going to happen next year, but I'm thankful for what I'm living now. So I might as well enjoy this moment. I'm not going to worry about next year because I don't know what's going to happen. And worrying will, won't bring me anything good so this is the good thing and this is what i try to transmit to all the people who do classes with me is just try to be here be present when you're practicing try to bring your attention to this moment and not think of what you're gonna do afterwards because i think all the problems like anxiety things that we have in our lives come from the fact that our minds will never stop but sometimes we're thinking about things and usually normally it's like you're thinking about things that are not happening now. So why are you thinking that? It doesn't matter. Just focus on what you're doing now. And this is what I try to break, yeah.